Puerto Rico's power authority has decided to terminate its contract with Whitefish Energy. This is, of course, the energy company that had all of two full-time employees right before it received a $300 million contract by the power authority in Puerto Rico. Now, the upcoming cancellation came just a few hours after Puerto Rico Governor Rick Ricardo Roseo asked the board of Puerto Rico Electric Power Authority, also known as uh, Prepa to cancel the contract with Whitefish during a news conference on Sunday morning. At that point, the CEO, uh, Ricardo Ramos, said during a news conference Sunday afternoon that he accepted the governor's recommendation. Now, the contract does require a 30 day notice for cancellation, so uh, these individuals will continue to get paid for another 30 days. But um, the good news is that this $300 million contract has been terminated because of pressure, because of excellent reporting by journalists who uncovered the contract and the shady dealings happening behind the scenes, including the fact that this company was very much tied to the Trump administration in the form of gigantic campaign donations. So the fact that they've now withdrawn it shouldn't mean that we should end the investigation. Who gave them the contract in the first place and why did they? This is clearly connected to the Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke. Whitefish is literally his hometown and one of his best friends is the owner of the company. This should not be the end of the investigation, it should be the beginning of the investigation. Ramos is an important character in this play because he's the one that made the decision and he seems very reluctant even to today saying restoration efforts are gonna be delayed by 10 to 12 weeks and it's gonna take additional money to demobilize. Seems like he's come to this decision begrudgingly. I'd like to press Ramos a little bit more on who talked him into giving the contract to Whitefish in the first place, because that's where the real story is. Right, and the good news is that the FBI is investigating this case. Yeah, all, all the power in the world to them on this, because this doesn't look good. If you like this clip of the Young Turks, you know there's a whole live two hour show, 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern every day, and you can download it or stream it and watch it without ads if you become a member. TYTnetwork.com slash join.